Interested in learning more about low-code, no-code software development? Boy, do I have the show for you. Welcome to Tear Down That Wall, a journey to low-code, no-code, brought to you by the caring people at ServiceNow Simple. Our show begins in the not-so-faraway land of traditional software development and takes you on a journey across the IT landscape in search of something different, something better. You'll learn what low-code, no-code development is, how it works, the pros and cons, and related career opportunities. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'll start by introducing our cast of characters. First, meet savvy business person. You might know him as the marketing guru, sales phenom, customer support specialist, technician, or staffing manager. Your company likely has many of this character. He has an in-depth knowledge of the company's product and service offerings and understands the business processes and workflows required for success. He's a revenue generator and always on the lookout for opportunities to cut cost and boost productivity. Next, meet the IT superstar. He has extensive education and training in all things tech. He's an expert in analysis, design, and creating complicated, hard to remember acronyms. He holds certifications in SQL, JDBC, CSS, AJAX, XML, ITSM, ITIL, and CPR. Yes, I said CPR from the YMCA. He can code in nearly any language, but speak clearly in none. And his value to the company comes through his ability to support the needs of this savvy business person. And finally, rounding out our cast, meet the wall, the villain of our story. The wall stands between the savvy business person and the transformation he seeks. It serves as a barrier over which the savvy business person and the IT superstar toss things. And it provides the savvy business person with something upon which to bang his head in frustration. Our story begins in the land of traditional software development, you know, the way we've been developing software and IT services for years. The story goes something like this. The savvy business person, in his constant quest to cut costs and increase productivity, has an idea. It's a doozy, a real opportunity for digital transformation. But he's going to need a server and a database for storing his business data, which means SQL, and software to build out his business process. And that means writing code, HTML, JavaScript, and a development environment. Oh, and integrations, and design, and support. And all in all, it's just uh, another brick in the wall, leaving the savvy business person feeling pretty small. Ah but he's been here before and he knows what to do, requirements. So he writes up the requirements for his new business application and tosses them over the wall to the IT superstar, who takes those requirements and using his extensive training and expertise, transforms them into a system design, a perfect picture of digital transformation. And over the wall it goes, but wait, This isn't what I wanted, proclaims the savvy business person. The UI is a mess. We don't use this language. And the workflow skips a step. Feedback over the wall. And so the cycle begins over and over. Designs, feedback over the wall. Finally, an agreement. Development begins and a prototype is delivered over the wall. And feedback and bug fixes, and enhancements, and well, you get the point. Until a solution, delivery, deployment, digital transformation. There has to be a better way, right? What if we sent the savvy business person over the wall, had him sit with the IT superstar, immediate feedback, paired programming? We tried that. And it helped a little. Okay, 
What if we formalize our over-the-wall toss process? We'll streamline the toss, make it simpler, do it more often with smaller functional chunks, and we'll iterate, iterative development. We tried that, and it helped a little. Enter stage left, our hero. Meet low code, no code. He's a master of destruction, eliminating barriers between savvy business people and digital transformation with a single blow. Known across the world for his proclamation, Mr. IT Superstar, tear down that wall. He's a builder of easy to use, intuitive IT services, empowering savvy business people to solve business problems themselves. Low code, no code is all about breaking down technical barriers that keep business people from using technology to solve the business problems themselves. Eliminate the skills gap, hide the complexity, tear down that wall. Low code, no code equips the savvy business people of the world with highly intuitive, easy to use tools that hide the complexity of doing traditional IT things like spinning up servers, creating and managing databases, building workflows, setting up integrations, and building user interfaces. We talk a lot about ServiceNow in these parts. Let's use them as an example. They offer a whole suite of tools built specifically for empowering business people with low-code, no-code capabilities. ServiceNow's App Engine Studio provides a guided experience for creating everything you need to build a low-code, no-code application. And if needed, the Studio application provides deeper access when more specific configuration and coding is required. The Now Experience UI Builder. It makes it simple to create powerful workspaces and portals via a drag and drop interface. And Flow Designer. It allows the use of natural language to automate workflows, tasks, and notifications. And the ServiceNow CMDB, although not specifically a low-code, no-code tool, provides the IT configuration data framework upon which most low-code, no-code applications are built. Companies like Microsoft with Power Apps, Zoho, Appion, Salesforce, and ServiceNow all have low-code, no-code capabilities. And that's just a few of a very large group of companies jumping into the no-code, low-code arena. The benefits that come from low-code, no-code software development can include improved agility, quicker speed to market, lower costs, and increased automation, and there are more. But it's not all perfect. Tools that seek to simplify complex tasks always have to generalize functionality down to some agreed upon level. That means less flexibility, more constraints, and fewer options. And remember, the code is still there. There's really no less code. With low code, no code, you're just agreeing to use the code that someone else wrote for you. Perhaps it could have been done differently or better. Time to wrap. But before we do, a quick word about opportunities. Savvy business people, you're being empowered. Go forth and conquer. Think creatively about the work you do. The way you do it doesn't have to be the way you do it. Can, you, can your work be simplified, automated, or eliminated? And continue to seek opportunities to learn technical skills. Hang out with the IT superstars. They're good people. And remember that with power comes responsibility. Start off slow and simple and build up from there. Remember to test everything. In the world of low code, no code, there will be no more blaming the IT guy. And finally, fellow developers, fear not, your jobs are safe. I've been kind of tough on you guys, but only because I'm one of you. I'm the IT superstar and I'm poking fun at myself. We just need to remember that in most companies, IT is the tail, not the dog. We have to stop wagging the dog. And learn the business. Hang out with savvy business people. Your true value comes through supporting them. My advice to developers, crazy as it sounds, is to always be on the lookout for opportunities to eliminate your jobs. You're expensive. You'll be rewarded. Tear down that wall.
I hope you enjoyed the show and found it useful, and I'll be publishing more videos on the topic of low-code, no-code. As always, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, and I would love your feedback. Business people, IT people, let me know in the comments your thoughts about low-code, no-code, and I'll see you in the next video.